Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'm going to talk about some cool hidden features of Google search. I mean, we all use Google search. I mean, I use it, let's say around 20 to 30 times in an hour. But you know what? It's just so much more than the search itself. There are so many interesting tools that you can use directly from the search. So, well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look at all of those cool hidden tricks of the Google search. Let's get started. Okay, so the first one is pretty cool and at the same time very useful, which is the bubble leveler. Now, I can't tell you how many apps I've tried on the Play Store or even the iOS app stores to get this feature. And the fact that Google offers this as a standalone search result is a pretty cool feature. To use it, just open Google and search for bubble level. The search will now use the phone's accelerometer and gyroscope to effectively act as a spirit level. It's pretty cool, right? And you can use this for home improvement tasks. I mean, you want to hang a frame, you can use this and it's very easy and convenient and no ads at all. Free app. Yes, right there. Now, the next trick in the list was introduced a couple of weeks back. I think just after or let's say a few days before the lockdown. And it's very cool, especially if you have kids at home. So it's about 3D animals. And when you search for an animal like, let's say, tiger or a panda, you will get an option to view that animal in 3D. Just tap on it and you can now view the animal in the world around you. Also, the animals are real in size. You can increase or decrease the size depending upon uh, the scenario. And it's good to go. Now, one thing to note here is that this particular feature will work only on those phones which supports AR. So it might not work on some couple of devices, but then I'm sure most of it will be able to pull it through. Now, moving on, let's talk about some games. Yes, Google has built in games in the search itself. And no, I'm not talking about that dinosaur that we play on the Chrome when there is no internet. It's a lot more interesting. So to get started, open up the Google search and type in tic-tac-toe. And voila, you can play the tic-tac-toe game with Google's AI, which by the way, is quite smart. Oh, and that's not all. My favorite game is snakes and just search for the snake game and there you go. Swipe your way to control the direction in whichever way you want to move the snake. So guys, let's move on. And there are some couple of interesting tricks that Varun want to share with you all directly. So over to you Varun now. Hey guys, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and I hope you guys are having fun too. I mean, obviously there's a quarantine lockdown going on, but to be honest, I have been pretty fine with it with all the work from home going on. But the one thing that I do miss the most is actually going to the studio and shooting awesome tech quality videos for you. Uh, but then again, if you guys like this format with me in the small screen and still presenting great quality videos to you guys, maybe we can do more of this. So yeah. Let, like literally sound that off in the comments below. Well, anyway, moving on with this specific video. Now, Ashish has already discussed a couple of tricks with you guys, but let me carry forward that with one super interesting trick that I use a lot for my research when I'm writing a lot of scripts. So there are times when you want to search internationally, but whenever you search something on Google, it basically shows you localized results. I mean, that's basically the way it's supposed to work. Obviously, you ideally want to see your local based results. But what if you want to do that international result? Well, that's where this trick comes in handy. All you have to do is just go to the URL in your web browser and type google.com slash NCR and press enter. Now that NCR here stands for no country redirect. So basically, whatever you search on this page now will result you in international results and not just localized content, which is a great thumbs up. Now, speaking of search related tricks, here are a couple of more that should really make your overall searching process on Google super simple. So first off is the use of quotation marks. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the like, why do I need to use quotation marks? Well, here's the interesting part. So what if you're searching for some specific term and there's one specific word that you really really want to be included in your search results well all you have to do is put that keyword in the quotation marks for instance if you're searching for let's say how to make windows great for guiding tech then you can just go on and type this 
and put guiding tech in the quotation marks and it will now show you results that definitely definitely have guiding tech in the search address so yeah that is one trick to keep in mind another trick that follows along the same lines is the use of asterisk mark so the way asterisk mark works is that it can be used to replace any basically it can take the form of any arbitrary word so if you're searching for some quotes such as life is such a asterisk mark so what will happen is that Google will now show you results that have life is such a and that asterisk mark will be replaced by any other random word that fits into that sentence. Now the one trick that I use the most often is file type. So the way file type works is that, well, if you're looking for one specific file type for me, it's that PDFs, you know, for all those PDFs that we search online, you know, PDFs, online, Google. No, no, I'm not talking about ebooks. I'm talking about notes, uh, notices, and everything that gets announced these days. We you know official announcements. But anyway, so whatever your use case may be, using file type is a very efficient way to quickly search on Google. All you have to do is write the main search query and then type file type colon PDF without any spaces, as shows in the screen on whatever site uh, my editor manages to put it, and then just search for it. Now Google will only show you results that have a specific file type as a result. Now you can use this trick to basically see PDFs, docs, Excel files, PPTs, MP4 files, and whatnot. Trust me, this is one trick that I use almost every day, and it's super fun to use. Well, that's all from my side, but that's not the end of this video. Obviously, Ashish has a couple of more tricks to carry forward with, so make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video. But if you like this format and you do miss me, cause trust me, I miss you guys. Well, if you do miss me, make sure to sound off in the comments below. Please say that we want Varun and just force Ashish because he's my boss. Tell him that we want Varun back and maybe you can go ahead with this format. You know, you never know. You know, or do you know? What do you know? Anyway, uh, before I go crazy, let me just hand it over back to Ashish. Go ahead. So that was interesting, right? And let's move on with the next trick in the list. And the next trick is all about conversions. We all use them on the Google search, but then there is a special trick that you must be aware of. Using it is easy. Just go to the Google search and search for X to Y, where Y is one type and X is the other. Now, where it gets interesting is what those types can be. You can use Google to convert between currencies, time zone, weights, length, and you know what? Pretty much everything and anything that you can think of. If there are two units that can be converted to and from, Google can do that for you. Just search for it. It's pretty simple. And now finally, adding to that conversion list. You know those times when you have a number in front of you and you're just wondering how to pronounce it. Well, why not let Google do that for you? Just type in the number and then add equal to English to it. And at the end without any spaces. And that's it. Google will convert it to a readable format and it's pretty cool and useful. So with that, we come to an end of this video and I'm sure uh, you must have loved it. If you want us to bring more of these Google hidden tricks, please let us know in the comment section because this is just tip of the iceberg. There are a lot more tricks available for just Google itself. So do let us know. Also, if you like the video, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button right now. And that's all. And I hope to see you in our next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.